Um, just wanted to try one more thing, kind of like a kid in a candy store. I just this is so exciting. I can't quit messing with this. Um, I cranked up the master current limit for the battery to 600 amps. I don't think that's going to matter. But I did a check in my last run. My my peak current hit 473 according to my dyno, and I did the best I could to calibrate that current sensor as accurately as possible. And I thought that was high because this is a 400 whatever peak amp, 450 peak amp rated controller. So nonetheless, it's a size 4 subcon. So nonetheless, I went into the um, Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and looked at the data log that I did with this uh, uh, window here, and it actually showed 476 in the software at the same RPM. So that current sensor for the dyno is probably very accurate or extremely closely calibrated to you know because I'm not exactly sure if Sebcon measures their input current or if they calculate it but nonetheless it's so close I think I'm gonna call that good so nonetheless I have a voltage and current graph here now so I can actually calculate efficiency and everything all at once let's do a run I just tried to uh, turn up the um, the, uh, there we go. I just turned up the battery current limit, like I said. So, current and voltage, we'll just do that, and then we'll just do number two. And we should be good to go here. Oh, there we go. Everything's good. I gotta start this. Okay. a little bit shaky. Um, I gotta get a better clamp system for my laptop. It's uh, I trued the wheels best I could. The tires, you know, got a tiny bit of a wobble on the rim, but it's super close. And then the motor has a tiny bit of a vibration. I have this balanced pretty well up to around 200 kilometers an hour. The roller itself, but pretty, it's pretty good. So that looks pretty close. Let's see what that says. So. <clears throat> Oh, we're up a little bit more in horsepower by that. So I don't know if my rep repeated runs are hitting more horsepower because um, I'm warming the batteries up or if it's because of settings I'm changing. So, But if you look at this, I have a pretty cool torque curve. It just goes straight across and then drops off. That's that's like an ideal torque curve for an electric motorcycle. Um, I can click right here. You can see like instantaneous voltage. The voltage is sagging to 98.9 volts at, you know, um, at that uh, speed there, whatever it is, RPM, so 4652. I try not to make the file names too long because then you can't read this damn first window. And one of the cool things, I can go here and change something out like motor torque to efficiency, and this actually tells you total system efficiency. Um, somewhere right here, like 78.3% efficient. You can click down over here, 67. Now that's low RPM. All electric vehicles are usually inefficient at low RPM. At least permanent magnet ones are anyway. I can't remember if induction motors are different. But as you get the RPM up a little bit, the efficiency starts to climb and starts to look pretty good. But remember that's total system. That's not, you know, 77 total system percent efficient is the controller, the motor, the bat. Uh, I don't know if the batteries are calculated in that. But the tire flex on the on the dyno roller, all that stuff matters. And that's part of why I went with the biggest roller for the dyno I could. So that it has the least amount of tire flex. The bigger the diameter, the less it's going to try and flex the carcass of the tire. So nonetheless, everything looks pretty good. I'll uh, stop that for tonight.